Good evening. Um, where were we? Uh? I just try to open and then uh, what is this? Oh, nothing. Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, last time we managed to, to, to make something like this. Um, did we make any plot? No, I don't remember. Um, dynamic flip chart. Please share your screen. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, share screen. Share screen. Now, can can you see something now? Yes. Ah, okay. Um. Um. Let me think. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um. So we we can run this yeah. When we click this run and then we can also click on the integrator and then the, it is calculating the timing is calculated, but then since we have a stable situations there's there's not there's nothing change, so <clears throat> even though it's running in dynamic but it's uh, in a steady state situation so there's nothing change and then the then the um the liquid level is also we go to hold up liquid level is also stabilize in the range of 95% somehow so we are going to control this uh, level we're going to, going to control the pressure and uh, the flow rate yeah, so basically so what we need to do is then we click stop and then we save it in a different name save as <coughs> yeah this is just like a, 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 um, a good practice um, simple, and then I normally put the date 11 26 so that um, so that at least when, when your file uh, is corrupted and then you only lose like uh, one day of work, so I, that's why I re always rename my file with a date. And then, for especially for dynamic, especially for dynamic, yeah. Uh, um, because the complicated calculations uh, compared to the steady state, so it could run into any um, uh, calculation error. So whenever I add something or I change something, I will rename it um, in a different name. For example, uh, with this name of the uh, of the case that we're working on, and then the date, and then I put like A, and then B, and then C, and then D, and so on and so forth. So typically, I will have like um, until F or G in a day uh, just to, to make sure that uh, whenever uh, when I add something and then it goes wrong um, I know which file I can just go back one file uh, before uh, and then to, to get um, um, yeah uh, a new start for example so um, yeah um, so we can ask for the uh, this guy <coughs> the palette um, we want to control first the flow rate here, yeah? So we would like to control, controller, the ID controller, yeah? Typical play ID controller. And then um, we would like to control the pressure here. We have another PID control and then the, the, the liquid level over here, that's another PID controller. Um... Okay, so let's rename this. So we name it like a FC. Um, okay, so <coughs> do you still remember your control course? So um, the process variable is the one that we would like to control. The process variable, mm -hmm. I said, yeah, process variable is the variable that we would like to control. So in this particular case, what do we want to control? We want to control the flow rate that goes through stream 1 and 2, right? It's the same flow rate, the same flow rate. And in this case, because we would like to have like a, P, uh, a feedback control, so we would like to sense what is then the flow rate here. And then uh, by knowing so, we can then, um, uh, then we can adjust the, the valve over here. So, uh, so that means we need to go, we need to select the PV from stream number two, uh, stream number two, stream number two, and then we would like to see the the mass flow rate because that's what we would like to control. Go down, mass flow rate, and then select. See, 
Nice light. So it will then automatically give this yellow, uh, sorry, uh, green signal stream uh, from stream two to this uh, flow control uh, PNED controller. And then uh, once we know what we would like to control, right? So that means, uh, for example, yeah, we would like to have it like in ten thousand. So we will then uh, manipulate this valve in such a way that uh, instead of nine nine twenty, we would like to have ten thousand. So um, ten thousand is then our set point, and then so this ten thousand will be set point, and then the, um, the outlet of the operating uh, OP is then the output uh, uh, um, variable, and um, so once we know uh, the process variable, we measure it nine nine twenty, and a set point is then ten thousand. So we have an error of an eighty kilogram an hour, right? So from this error, we need to know how much is then the valve should open and close. So in this case, obviously, what we would like to use to control it is then the valve. So this valve 100. So actuate the desired position, and then we click it here. Yeah? And then to make it nice, I uh, click horizontal so that we can see it. Um, OK, so we know the variable that we would like to control. And then we know how we control it by actuating the, the, the valve open and close. Then we go to parameters because it says this unknown ranges for process variable. So um, so process variable because it's uh, in the order of uh, ten thousand. So uh, yeah, uh, minimum that means if we close the valve, it will be like uh, zero, and then the and then the maximum it's uh, yeah we typically have it like a half. That means the 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 set point is typically like half of the maximum process variable. Also, so like uh, you can you can name it uh, um, you can you can have your own number yeah but for sure you need to make sure that the set point is within the within the PV minimum and maximum yeah so it has to be like larger than ten thousand because our set point is ten thousand later on so um, just uh, for the benefit of the um, simplicity put twenty thousand see when we put this zero and two ten twenty thousand the um, the 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 current number is um, is fed in. Um, uh, it says okay, but it is not okay yet, yeah, uh, um, because uh, the the mode the mode is still in uh, manual, uh, so we can also make it uh, automatic. And then the um, uh, execution is internal. External means we will need to communicate this file. Uh, this file need, needs to be communicated with uh, with the DCS. So uh, since we are doing a standalone simulation, so internal is okay. And then set point is in this case we would like to have it like ten thousand, right? Ten thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then the tuning parameter. Um, uh, do you still remember this, or shall I explain this a little bit? <laughs> Maybe can. Oh, I have a refreshment. Yeah, I have a refreshment. So um, so see this. Uh, PID controller. So Wikipedia is the first line of defense. So PID <laughs> control is then proportional integral derivative controller. Uh, so it's a well-known, um, it's a it's a robust, um, also like um, a conventional type of controller, and then uh, it it is being used for almost all of the uh, control problem. So we can see it here. So we have a process. Well, in this case, the process is the flow rate. Yeah, in this particular case, yeah, and this the the one that we are now dealing with. The process is then this part is then the process. And um, so uh, we have the the 9920 over here measured, right? Uh, and then the um, uh, and then there is a feedback line from here because we measure 9920. So that 9920 information is then fed back to the um, this uh, submission. This RT is then our set point. So we have 10,000 as the set point. And then 9920 coming in, <clears throat> so that means 10,000 minus 9920. There is an error of 80. So this guy will get 80. Do you get that? Yeah. So this error at time t will become at time now it will become uh, 80. 
And then now we have a choice of either running P controller only or integral controller or derivative control or PI or PID. Yeah? It's all up to you. Uh, but typically, uh, in, 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 in most cases in the plant, we either use P or PI. PI is then the, the most widely used. Um, for P for pre-controller, um, uh, we have a KP. Yeah, it's a, like a controller gain. So it is proportional, hence the name proportional. It is proportional to the error. So if you have error of 80, 80 and then the, uh, the KP is then the constants that we are putting in. So in this case, if it's if it's one, if it's one, that means 80 times one. That is then 80, the same 80. 80 times 1 is the same 80. So we get 80 over here yeah, because we have KP is 1. But if we have KP as 2 and then the, the control will give us uh, 2 times 80 means 160 over here. And that will then be fed into a, a final control element. And then that final control element is in, the case, in this case the valve. And then the valve will then open proportionally to that um, 80 or to 160 number that we are uh, uh, going to um, define, yeah. So it will then be uh, calculated as in the controller output, either it's open or closed. And then if the, the the this number is higher, that means it will then open faster or close faster. But if this number is smaller, yeah, it will then open slower, uh, open smaller or, or close smaller. The, until here, is it is is that okay? Yes. <coughs> So, uh, but then, uh, this is the PID controller, uh, images, mm, this one, yeah, do you still remember this book, the, um, oh, robotics, uh, yeah, this one, uh, can you see this? So if we have um, if we have only a P controller, this is then the kind of response that we have, P controller, yeah? and then in the end it will not. If we change the steady state, for example, if we change the set point, for example, uh, now it is nine nine twenty. But if we if we if we want to like to have it like a ten a ten thousand, so it is not the same as it is before. So we will not get. Uh, there is always a gap between the, the the set point that we are going that we would like to have, and then the final flow rate that we are going to have. Yeah, maybe we can have a try here. Uh, and then there's, there's a gap. And then to eliminate the gap, people then introduce the second um, uh, uh, controller, which is then the integral control. The integral control. So this integral control is then the, the area under the curve, because this is ET dt. Yeah? Because if we see this, these are all, this, this, all the, this is the set point. This line is then the set point. So ideally, we would like to have the system behave like this. Yeah? this and then goes up directly. Uh, but then since uh, the response is going to be like this, we will have like this kind of error. So this area under the curve is going to be minimized by the presence of, of uh, this integral controller. Okay, so this is basically um, E, D, T, and then uh, divided by tau i, the, the, the integral time or the reset time. So that tau i, uh, if I may uh, paint, Mm, that um, KP, uh, wait there. Let's so get my uh, pen. <coughs> it's the same like baking, eh? Uh, uh, Irina. So if you, yeah, it's the same like baking. So for example, you, you bake your uh, your pastries and then the, the color doesn't look nice or maybe uh, it's it's not cooked well enough and then you can increase the the, 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 the temperature and then all, maybe you can increase the, 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 the cooking time and then or add something more flavor to it. So it's the same. So basically um, we have, um, where's my pen? Oh, this is my pen. So um, we have the uh, P, then the P, is then the, um, uh, KC times error, and then the I is then basically KC times 1 over tau I, and then integral um, DE, uh, integral, integral E DT. Okay, so this part 
is what this is what this um, uh, this uh, thingy ki. So this is then what is in the equation as okay, ki, and then the last one is then d the derivative. It's a uh, kc tau d and then de dt. So um, this part is what they say as kd. Yeah, so this is what kd is in these equations. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Remember, yeah. Tau i is then that is in the in the in the in the below. So yeah. So I need to make it again. So tau i is in the below. Uh, uh, in the denominator. So that means if that means if tau i is then large, yeah, that means your ki will become smaller. If um, tau i is then lower, that means the ki will become higher. Yeah. So that means if the ki is become higher, so the whole thing becomes higher. That means um, that means the action, the controller action, because this going this guy is is higher. I mean, the control action will also make it higher here. That means the response will be faster as well. Yeah, like this one. If we have a higher KP, that means this is going to be a higher value, and the response here will be faster. Uh, the same goes here. If the KI is then bigger, which means the tau I is then smaller, uh, the response here will be uh, bigger, and that means the response over here is also faster. The same goes with the KD. <laughs> Okay, now let's 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 do this. Um, we can stop all of this nonsense. So um, um, <coughs> so um, to to yeah to clear the doubt, yeah, we can just uh, leave it at K C now, yeah. Um, uh, uh, and then we are not going to put to I and to D, but uh, because for for um, how do you call it? For mathematical reason, we need to input the number to I. So in this case, since we know, since we know, since we know if we have a, 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 a higher tau i, that means the ki will be then be smaller. So if, so that means in, in, in this case, to deactivate, yeah, to deactivate this uh, integral, the uh, we need to make tau i as big as possible. Yeah? But in the, uh, for, for d, it's by default, there is this, um, I also learned this a few days ago, so that d, this tau d, sorry, tau d, it is uh, by default, it gives, uh, it will be multiplied by this zero. Uh, we can help, uh, we can see this explanation in, in ISIS help. Um, so in this case, we can just put like, uh, I don't know, 10,000 minutes. So in this case, we uh, we are killing the, 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 the integral uh, action. So uh, leave it as it is, uh, one, and then, the, um, and then the last item that we need to consider, yeah, so we have done this, uh, we have explained this, and then we have explained this, and then the last item, this then the most important one, well, it's uh, one of the most important ones, <clears throat> um, action, the action is very important because it will then uh, de determine the, the movement of the, of the final control element, so in this case, if we have the flow rate is high, means higher than 10,000, what do you think the valve should do? It should close. Yeah, it should close. If the, the flow rate is uh, going down, that means the valve should open. Yeah? Uh, flow rate goes up, valve op uh, flow rate goes up, valve close, flow rate goes down, valve open. Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So that means you can see that's in reverse situation. Yeah. So hence the action is reverse. Can can you can you follow? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um so I keep it like this. Yeah. Um and then done. Okay. And then we could also do the same for the um the uh what is this? Uh, pressure control, for example. Oh, is there any question? Question. Uh, so it's a feedback controller, right? Yes, right. So it's a feedback controller. Um, it's a feedback controller because we are sensing here, so it is already happening. And then we give the in, we send the input. So guys, the uh, flow rate here is 9920. 9920 is then the flow rate. I would like to have it 10,000. So that means I send the signal back to this valve. It will then open more so that I can get uh, 10,000 over here. 
The same goes with the with these two. It is a feedback control as well because we are sensing the pressure here, and then we first sense the pressure here, the one that we want to measure, and then we either <laughs> open and close this valve. Yeah. Um, this one as well. We see the we see first we see first the level, and then we open and close the valve. Okay. So it's a feedback. Um, okay. So um. So here the process variable is um, the the either the pressure in this stream or the pressure hold up over here. It's up to you. It's because it's the same. I just want like to check here because so in in symmetry we can just click on the unit and then we send the signal over here rather than rather than because it's just a sim this one is a simple example. But if you have like complicated uh, 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 stream, this you will have to scroll down and on. So it's it's uh, quite tedious. So I'll just try to see if we can send it. So um, hold up maybe, and then the pressure it's over here, oh, over here. So I'll just right click, right click, and then send to anything that I can send to. No. Okay. So this is then the drawback. I mean, this is then the limitation of of ISIS compared to to symmetry. Um, in this particular case, then we there is no um, we are not um, we can do anything. So valve one uh, sorry V one hundred vessel one hundred, and then pressure vessel pressure. Okay. So we would like to control the pressure of the vessel. And how are we going to do that? We are going to open and close this valve. Mm -hmm. um, so that means we select. We select. Can we? Can I? Is there? Can we do this? So valve. Right click. No. Cannot. No connection. I don't know. No. Uh, so that means I just have to, um, uh, yeah, painfully going through the list uh, about 100, one, and then the click select. Okay, uh, and then we go the same uh, PV um, zero maybe, and then we would like to control this at um, I don't know nine eight bar. So uh, let's let's put like a fifteen bar, so to say. Um, and then the, we would like to have it like um, uh, auto, right? And then the and this is then the nine uh, instead of nine zero five three. Or you could also we can later on we will see. Yeah, uh, we can change it. And then in this case, in the particular case, let's let's have a t to i five minutes. So it's like a um, yeah some some typical number or some random number. Um. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, um, okay. Before I go any further, um, if we see pressure increase, that means what should we do? If we see open. a pressure increase, shall we open or close this? Open. Open, yeah. Pressure increase, we open. Pressure reduce, we close. Open, open, reduce, reduce. So it's a direct. So direct. So hence we click direct. Um, we'll do last one. Yeah, um, this is then LC, um, uh, V100, and then liquid level, liquid percent level, to make it easy. And then the valve is then valve 02, 102. Now, nah, um, the level goes up, what should we do with the valve? Open. Open, exactly, it goes up. Open goes down, close up, open down, close. So it's direct. Um, it's um, uh, auto, um, and then this is then PV is obviously it's a one to uh, see one percentage and a uh, zero percentage and then until 100. Right? So, um, um, and then we would like to make it so 95, we make it uh, 50. Um, and then the um, KC is uh, yeah one or two I don't know it's up to you and then we put it as well uh, five minutes. Um, <coughs> I just realized yeah um, in high we can have this algorithm subtype. 
uh, we, we have the uh, all of this stuff um, I haven't um, uh, checked each of these individual but let's just go through it now um, F1 if I press F1 something happened uh, help is happening and then uh, algorithm subtype yeah, I would like to find this Parameters. This is on the parameters tab. Um, algorithm subtype. See if you can find algorithm subtype. I can just okay, uh, Uh, this uh, velocity form you can see uh, well, the, by default it is now a uh, velocity form and then you can see the 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 one this b and c that i i i showed you i i i told you before so b is then the set point width for the proportion action that means if b is then uh um b is now here one so b is then being used as as this guy so um this is then the if we see this is then the error yeah then the error is p uh, set point minus uh, post variable uh, and then b is by default is one so that means we have the error calculated and then c is by default is zero so that means this then for the ed for the uh, derivative action so this for the derivative action so it by default is zero um, i would like to see uh, the other ones proportional form uh, so in here it, it says it says here the, uh, the there is this uh, anti entire reset wind up um i'm not really sure if i have to explain this to you now but um um it will it is basically if 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 the 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 the, the total error this u uh, sorry the, the total error the, the the u uh the output of the controller output of controller exceeds the operating limit of the um of the uh, uh like the control uh, final control element or the valve and then the the integral contribution the error uh, will be then reset instantaneously so this then the the guys uh i think we can see it through the cases yeah um i'm now thinking um uh, sorry i'm now trying to figure out whether whether this is then the which is then the default form is it the um the good one to start uh let me see uh, this one uh, Into yeah. Well, any case, just let's let's do it this way wow. now. Um, just select the, the the default, and then we'll see what happens. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, act, auto auto direct, and then um, okay. Yeah, and then in this case, you can you can you can save it. Uh, different names or not. So um. We can see as well yeah the monitor. Oh, let's 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 do it this way, because for each of this controller, you can see you can see the the uh, post variable set point and then the the the, the final control element in this case. But uh, let's see. Yeah, we would like to show, make a graph, uh, strip chat, and we can add and then the um, data logger. So I would like to samples like uh, I don't know maybe uh, ten thousand data points. Um, we name it. Uh, yeah um i don't know this is leave it as it is and then um display by default uh, ICS ICS gives this black which i don't really like and then i uh, change it to white and then the, okay so what do we want to see we would like to see florid we can see it here but we just would like to see the curve here yeah? uh, we go here and then we would like to see the conditions, the 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 total flow rate. This nine nine twenty. We right click, 
and then send to send to strip chart and then data logger one because this is the name of the company. So we have it see here, and then the um, that's that is this, um, and then we would like to see as well the um, the pressure because this is what we would like to have. Um, hold up, pressure is over here. So we right click and send to data number one and then the same um the same with the level oh, i need to uh, same with the level uh, <coughs> so we can have it here basically um data logo one okay um and then we would like to see i would like to see the um the controller behavior because then we can see whether the um whether the uh, the controller is stable or not um, controller in this particular case um we click on edit or display uh, sorry display um make the same goes uh, with this yeah it's also ten thousand um graph control um yeah we can have this valve opening right and then controller and then the same with the um, this valve opening. I think we need to rename this yeah, in such a way so that we can control it. Uh, lastly, control it. Right. So have everything. Scale cut. Um, Graph control. Um, okay, let's let's rename this. Um, if I rename this, will it change automatically or no? That one I don't know. Um, FCV. And then this is going to be PCV. PCV, yeah, right. PCV. Um, this is gonna be the LCV yeah so let's see legend ah, nice. uh, yeah very good so we have this um, legend and then we have we would like to see this legend as well um, yeah um, save um, we are good to go, yeah. All in automatic, I hope. Hmm. Now I have my doubt. Automatic, you can also make it manual, yeah, if you want, and then it means it's it's not running automatically. So we'll see, yeah. Um, dynamic, and then we run. Oh, it's too fast. Um, uh, we will make it real time, but in this case, I would just like to have like a 10 times faster because then uh, I can because it's too fast already. Now you can see, can you see? Yeah, yeah, okay, can you see it's too fast? Um, uh, now it's uh, it's a bit slowly. Um, so we can see uh, all axes. Now we can see all axes. Um, this is a controller opening. Um, so they are opening closed gradually to make sure that they get to the set point. And then we can see the uh, legend. So uh, uh, red is then the, the feed. So we need to make it fit uh, for red. So it's uh, already in the 10,000 and then the, um, the, the, 
the pressure in the green. Can you see this green? Yes, yes, can. Yeah, because it's um. Can you make it this green? Okay. Uh, it's not so much visible. Black. Yeah. Uh, which color? Yeah, purple. Pink. Pink. Okay. Pink. So this pinky. Uh, is now getting to nine uh, bar, and then the um the uh what is this guy? Uh, the level is now going, still going, still struggling to get that fifty. Um, hmm, we can either see. Um, okay, now let's see this controller. Uh, monitor um, what put this can we have it put this normalize, normalize auto scale auto scale yeah uh, yeah mm, this red is then the op can I or we can also if I right click there is also graph control for this guy as well um Time PV and SP auto scale. No, we don't want to see have auto scale. Uh, let's make it like um, eight thousand. This is then twelve thousand twelve one two three. So then, so then um, it's clear. Yeah. So the, 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 the process variable is the green one, like in this case, the green one, uh, which is equal to this guy, the red one over here. Can you follow here? So they are already stable now. The 9 bar is stable at 9 bar. The pressure is stable at 9 bar. And then the level, hopefully, it will then um, get to 50. Um, and this is what I call, and uh, this is what I call, this is what people call in the control world. Remember that we want to have the set point, uh, we want to have it at uh, 10,000, yeah? So the, the dotted blue line as the SP. So the set point is 10,000. But we see uh, at the steady state situation, the uh, because it doesn't change anymore, yeah? it's steady state already. So the, um, the, uh, the, the, the process variable cannot reach the, the set point. So the difference between them is what people say as um, what do they say? I don't remember. Uh, offset. This is what they say as offset. So this is then the situation where we have um, um, where is that thingy? Uh, the, uh, this one. See the steady state error that is offset. So hence we need to include the integral so that we can remove the offset. Um, and then we can also make it here, yeah, um, uh, to make it uh, clearer as well. I would like to increase the flow rate to 11,000 and see what happens. Um, we can have it here, monitor, face plate. And then here you can have the, um, the, the, the face, well, I don't know what this face plate. Um, here you can, or you can here you can, um, because it's set point, yeah, you can change it. So let's let's see if it's 11,000. See what happens with this guy, yeah. So 11,000. Um, or oh, 11, yeah, 11,000. Make it 11,000. So, and then click enter. Close. See, it increases. So when it increases, it gives more gas and more liquid over here, and then hence it will then it increases the pressure here. You can see it increases the pressure there, um, and then the flow rate also increases to um, yeah, still doing something to eleven thousand, but still not um, not making it yet to the eleven thousand. Yeah, still on the um, ten thousand four hundred something. So we could see it here. Ten thousand four hundred. Well, we want to have it like in eleven thousand, so it's still in the ten thousand four hundred. 
Um, let's increase this here. Yeah? Um, dynamic integrator. Can I increase this while it's running? I don't know. Let's try. Uh, it's a bit faster. Um, no, it's slowly, slowly but surely it uh, goes to. Um, uh, now I will, I will uh, now I will untick the real time so that it will then go as fast as my uh, as fast as my computer can go. Uh, untick it and then um, go up and then and so on. So it's uh, you can see it's uh, increasing. Uh, it's uh, still going to touch. It's going to touch the 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 eleven thousand. So will it touch it or not? It's very slow, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Valve is still opening in the second digit. So it's 300 different. Oh, 300. Eh, 330. 30, right? 30. 20. Maybe if we introduce integral, it yeah. will be yeah. much faster. Yeah, that's 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 the point. So um um let's uh, we can stop it or we can just increase the introduce the integral. Yeah. So let's introduce the integral. Make it like five, like the other guys. And then the, um yeah, and then in 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 no time it goes to the um the steady state situation. Um, and then we can change it back to 10,000 to see. Um, I need to set it to real time so that we can see it. Um, the 10,000. And then the, um, you get the idea yeah yep okay um let's keep it this way um i'll just stop this and then uh, save it in a different name so that uh, save save case save case uh, let's keep it at this uh, a now uh, we still have uh, 11 minutes. Uh, I'm thinking to add another, um, uh, uh, like um, how do you call it? Uh, because typically level um, we have uh, something called like a cascade controller. I'm not really sure. Shall we do it now? Or you have any questions? If you have questions, we can do this uh, cascade controller next week. Otherwise, we'll do we'll try to do it in in 10 minutes. Any questions? No. No questions. Oh, okay. If there's no questions, and then um, 
we'll see if um, let's make a cascade yeah so this cascade means um, uh, control and then you can see cascade cascade control huh. yeah so this is then typical this is typical cascade control can you see this uh, so we have a, a level which we measure and we would like to have the level at like 50% for example So the level will then give signal to this level control. So say hey, I am now at 40% uh, for example Yeah, 40% this is then 50% so there is an error of 10% and it will then say there is an error of 10% So you have to make a higher flow rate So it will then open this valve Yeah so uh, basically this uh, so this is not the correct line so the, basically this line this line goes to this guy goes to this guy and then that guy goes to this guy so um let's see the um so uh, let's see the correct one yeah um that's the correct one on the level control Ah, this one. So we measure the level, uh, and then it gives us this this master control, and it will give the signal to this guy FIC, which is then going to be sending the signal to um to the valve. Um, so let's do this. Eh. Ah, close this. Hey, this one. So we add uh, uh, um, eight more minutes. Let's see if I can make it. Um, okay. So this level control is going to give signal to this guy. This guy basically, this is then um, slave, slave uh, control. Wow, well, just put slave. And um, uh, the set point will be obtained from this guy. Yeah, so let's let's open this. Um, and that guy, this level control will then set will then give the set point. Will then give the set point um, to the slave. That means the the this op is no longer directly go to the valve, but this op goes to uh, this sp. So how do we do this? Let's see. Yeah, uh, I haven't done this for a while in in Hisis. Um, ah, it can go. We can go to slave. Uh, there's a slave, and then uh, it will become the set point. Yeah, remember. So the the level over here, what is then being measured, and then the output, the output of this controller will become the set point for the slave control. So slave, and then set point, and then select. Okay. So now you can see that line. Yeah, and then we go to parameters, and then this parameters is um, is changed now. Um, it's a uh, instead of uh, kilograms, now it's a uh, open and close. Uh, 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 um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, I think it's in percentage still, percentage of the uh, uh, the rate that we're going to uh, define here. See so, ya. Yeah. Um, this is going to be uh, 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 an automatic. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Um, so if the level goes up, that means it will then uh, give. Uh, we need to have a higher flow rate, right? So if the level goes up, that means we need to have a higher flow rate. That's what it will say. Um, and then this one is then the process variable. So what does it measure? It measures. It will then measure the flow rate over here. Um, stream number um, five. Uh, mass flow rate. Okay. Uh, horizontal. Um, and then this is then going to control the the it measure yes. the flow rate over here. Uh, it measure the flow rate over here. It will then control the valve. Uh, LCV, LCV actuate the desired positions there. Um, the parameters is going to be um, 
um, yeah, zero to um, how much uh, again? To, um, fifteen thousand, for example. Um, it is now seven thousand two hundred, which we know. Um, um, and then the, um, it's local or remote. This one uh, I need to check whether. So now it says just like uh, let's make it the uh, uh, same. The so I um, if the if the flow goes up. That means we have to close the valve. If the flow goes down, that means we have to open the valve. So it's a reverse, yeah. So reverse, and then SP mode, set point mode is local or remote. This is one I need to. We need to figure out. So is it a remote or local? Is it something has? Does it have anything to do the cascade or not? Let's check here. Yeah. Uh, configurations parameters. Operation. No oh, cascade, cascade. Is there any cascade? Ah, uh, cascade. Yeah. So here, yeah, because because we uh, we because the the set point is uh, coming from the uh, from the LC, so that option is available because um, the in the other case, like for example this one, there is no such uh, there is no such cascade. Right. So once we connect this, uh, once we connect it to this guy. Uh, cascade is uh, is visible. Um, this is not cascade because this is a master control. So this one going to be cascaded to this um, level control. Okay. So set point fifty percent. Um, it will then change. It will then change the the set points accordingly. Yeah. You can see the seven two or seven. We can no longer change this. So um, uh, we run this. Okay. Oh, we we open first the um step chat. Uh -uh. Step chat display. Put it over there. This one display. Put it over here. So we can see. Uh, I just uh, run put it here so that we can see. We can see the um um these numbers. That numbers. Uh, click run. Is it running? Oh, is it running? So 50%. So it will then sense the uh, process variable is 48. Um, so it will then say, um, yeah, uh, I think we need to um, to to um, because the level is low. The level is low, so that means it will need to uh, uh, get sig uh, give signal. We need to reduce the flow rate. Right, so um, eh, where is that so uh, the level is low. This level is low. That means they have to reduce the flow rate. So hence, hence the control goes um uh, and now it's going up. Uh, it's going up, so it's, it goes up. Um, and then this is then the 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 flow rate in accordance with the um with the uh, with this opening. So you can see here, yeah, the even though this is then going, this is then the set point basically. To this guy, so 40%, 47% is actually this number divided by the the, the this range. Yeah, because the 50% uh, is 75, 7500, and this is then less, still less than than 70, still less than 50% is then less than 7500. You can see. Uh, so we will see um, the fluctuations. <laughs> not patient enough you can just uh, untick this and then let it run um, as fast as that the computer can run otherwise we'll just wait for another one or two minutes to see to see it settles any questions so far yeah uh, when you set the tau i equals to five, it's uh, it's yeah, is this uh, pi um, a controller? Uh, basically, we activate the tau i, the ki, because we have like five minutes. Uh, when we see, so this is then five minutes. 
So 5, uh, uh, Kc is 1, right? So 1 divided by 5, it's 0.2. So this whole Ki will be equal to 0.2, basically. So this, uh, this Ki will be equal to 0.2. Because this is, we put like a default number 1, and then this is then the uh, 5. So 5 divided 1 by 5 is 0.2. But um, we originally, it was 10,000, right? So remember that 10,000? So uh, 1 divided by 10,000 is, yeah, 10. This guy. So this guy is then the multiplied by uh, by any error will then be uh, 0 0.0001.1234. 1, 1, 4. So somewhere plus this range. So it is basically saying that this is not going to be used. But if it's all like if it's like a 0.2, so this 0.2 is um, is much much higher compared to this guy. So we have there is an effect of the um, the integral controller basically. Is that is that clear? Why are we not using D? Uh, D is typically not used uh, because D is then the more if you see the derivative. Well, you can use D. Yeah? It's, uh, there's no harm. Eh? You can use D. Uh, uh, it's just simply that in this particular case, um, because this is rarely used, but we can use it. Uh, um, uh, the the EDT is more like a, because if we have a plot, this is time and then this is then the error. So the EDT is more like a slope. Yeah, if we have this error at point uh, T T and this then the um, e, e T and then if we say that's an, another error over here, T plus one, uh, this then the um, E E T plus one. So um, it's uh, something like we are trying to predict what is going to happen in the next uh, t. Uh, so we are predicting uh, based on this number. So we are predicting, and we are predicting what is then the next e. So from this x e, we calculate the d e and then the d t, right? So this is more kind of like a prediction. So we are predicting uh, what happens next, and then hence we, based on these predictions, we calculate the DEDT, we calculate the tau D, we calculate the, the KC, and then hence we calculate the D. And D is, getting, D is, the, is being fed to the, the PID controller. So uh, the goal was to make the response faster. But in, 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 in cases where, where the error is then going up and down, yeah, the process is not stable, this is going to make it up and down as well. It's going up and down, up and down. So mm -hmm. in the end, in the end, yeah, in the end, for unstable situations, so for unstable situations, yeah, uh, this the presence of D will make the controller unstable. It's controller oh, okay. because of this uh, error, uh, because of the instability of the process of the uh, the dynamic of the process. Right. It's a, it's the error is stable. But if we have a stable process, for example, it's like a stable process, and then we can we can have the D. Um, um, um. Industry we normally use yeah. We normally use PI controller and uh, D controller PID. I think uh, we can um, we use it in the in um, uh, like a concentration measurement, but it's very rarely used. Yeah, we can use it in concentration measurement. But it's very rarely used. Why we can use it the con concentration measurement? Because if we have like um, um if we have like a, a vessel, uh, vessel, right? And then the, your analyzer is somewhere here, right? Analyzer. So this is then the point where you calculate the concentrations at time t, and then you have a mixer. But then at this point. C A for example, this is then C um, O. So is C A at time T equals to C O at times T? Is this equal? We don't know. If we if we if mm -hmm. if the if if the mixer is perfect, like in the as in the assumptions of C S T R calculations, if the mixing is perfect perfect, yes, we can we can say that this is then the same. But if it's not the same. Uh, so there must be like um, uh, there should be like a there will be like a gradient uh, concentrations from this point to that point, yeah. But this part we can see, yeah. For example, if we have this um, the sorry, I'm um, the y-axis, 
this is then the uh, this is then the concentration this is then the um the the, the diameter for example or the uh, the point zero this is point zero so this is then point zero x equals to zero this is then x equals to a a a so we can see this is then the highest if we, this is then our injection point we will have a higher mm -hmm. concentrations over here the lowest concentrations over there and then we can see it's uh, the concentration is also like uh, something like this so this part it has a gradient hence we can use the d controller yeah um typically but it's also very rare to be uh, to use it okay it's uh, it's there it's very rare uh, if, if uh, especially if we have like um, uh, if we have a big tank yes but if we have a small tank uh, no it's, it's uh, going to it's leading to like uh, also unstable situation so um yeah the bottom line is that uh, is there you can use it and then we can then compare it we can compare the performance of pi and pid um, and then we can select which one is best i think we can do that later uh, next week here yeah? oh let's see how how, 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 how how is this doing um how is this doing no it's doing fine so um yeah, uh, the level is, is almost uh, 50% and then we are on this um, uh, 73 something. Um, so I think um, we we call it a night and then the, um, um, you can you can try this again, yeah, and then you can play around. You can play around, yeah, uh, Shafiq and um, Irina and, and Aisha. You can just uh, change this, change this the KC and Tau I and then put Tau D, for example, and then you can then the, um, change the set point and see what happens. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So um, I'll, I'll see you next week then. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doctor Zufai. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye.